praise you, we honor you, we glorify your name, Lord. Thank you for your word. Your word is precious and it's life giving words, giving life to our spirit, giving life to our body, giving life to our mind and every circumstance, Lord. We honor you as Lord and Master and we keep on um, praising your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, welcome everybody. I'm so glad you are back from the holidays. And um, are you happy? Yes. Are you blessed? Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes, we worship the Lord. Amen, Amen. Just let me go to the Bible. I saw on Facebook a picture of a friend, a Facebook friend of us, um, about the lion and the sheep in one picture together. And in one instant, when I saw the lion and the sheep, or the land, I had the revelation of what God is saying. So I want to minister this to you. Um, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you are with us and that you are with me. And um, please praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yeah, Bobby yeah. is. Is it with the beer? All right. They say my spelling is wrong on the uh, on the board. You will see there is a lion. So it is a cup with a bee. Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Cups. It's not a cup where you drink out of water. It's a cup like a a lion cup. The cup of a lion. That's my theme this morning to say to you and to give you the revelation of what God is saying to us. So if you have your Bible, you can go with me to Genesis 49. And um, Genesis 49, just let me get my Bible here. Here's my, here's Genesis 49 verses 1 before I'm going to read verse 8. But I want you to understand um, this is Jacob. You know, Father Abram, and then he had the son Isaac, and then he had the son Jacob, and Jacob's name became Israel. Jacob was not lacquer, you know, he was a bad person Sir in the Ponte. beginning. Huh? He was a serpent. Yeah, so God came with an angel to earth and said, Jacob, I'm going to change your name to Israel. And Jacob or Israel had 12 sons. And I've spoken to you previously about the 12 gates of Israel, the 12 sons and the names is the gates on, on the city's wall. So you must go and see that revelation. But this is what Jacob called them and it said, to his sons, gather yourself together around me that I may tell you what shall befall you in the latter of the last days. Alright, the latter of the last days. Jacob, all the sons, come here. I'm going to speak over every one of you. You are Israel. You will be the tribe of Israel. You will be the people of God. Alright. And I'm going to say to you, I'm going to prophesy something over you. Israel. We've got that. Alright. In the last days. It's not now. It will be a little bit later. You will become this. Gather yourself together and hear you sons of Jacob, 
and hearken to Israel your father. Now, who is now Jerusalem? The city of God. Who is Israel? Who is Judah? Us, the church. Um, if you do not understand, you must go and see in my previous messages. Um, the last Sunday service I talked to you about um, Zion and who is Zion and the it is the dwelling place of God and it's the church and it is a, a mountain. Alright, we are the mountain but we and God is this holy place, this city, this Jerusalem, this Israel. We are Judah. So Judah, Israel, I'm going to prophesy what you are going to be in the last days. Alright, you understand? That was verse 2, and then I'm going to skip to you to verse 8. Judah, you are the one whom your brother shall praise. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's sons shall bow down to you. Judah, a lion's cup. Judah, a lion's cup. So I said that Israel, or Judah, is one is a lion's cup with the prey my son you have gone high up the mountain he stooped down he crunched like a lion and like a lioness who dares provoke and rouse him judah a lion's cup judah is israel his sons is a lion's cup. So we, Israel, are cups. Okay. Alright. The offspring, the little ones of a lion. Alright. A lion and Israel is cups or Judah is cups of the lion. I want you to, you must see this. I, I know you are not stupid. But I want to focus, I want you to understand the revelation. I want to specifically focus on specific words that you will say later on. Oh, I see it. Alright. Okay. This scepter, verse 10. I want you to hear the, the animals. Okay. Are you with me? So Judah, you are the cup of a lion. Who is the lion? Jesus. Yeah. Well, Israel is the people of God, so the cups of God. But he's a lion. I want you to see that. The scepter or leadership shall not depart from Judah, nor the rulership, the staff, from between his feet and told Shiloh the Messiah the peaceful one comes to whom it belongs and to him shall be the obedience of the people be alright the ruler I'm going to write here Genesis 49 is lion I'm writing the lion and I'm writing cup with a P cups of a lion Judah the scepter means a king. Alright. The scepter or leadership. A king has a scepter. Leadership shall not depart from your Judah until the Messiah Jesus Christ would come. The Shiloh one. The peaceful one. And the obedience and to him shall be the obedience of the people. The people will be obedient unto him. The lion, you are the cups of this lion. Alright. Binding is full. Okay. Full. Full, yeah. Eleven. Binding is full to the vine, and his donkey called to the choice vine. Now, can you hear animals? A foal is a small donkey. Alright, listen here. I, I want you to hear 
donkey. He, and is full to the vine and his donkey called to the choice vine. Vine is a grape, something. I am the vine and you are the branches. Something about God, something about Jesus Christ, something about the donkey. Alright, but you are cups of a lion, but a donkey. His eyes uh, bringing, he washes garments in wine and his clothes in blood of grapes. Shiloh, the peaceful one, the lion, will wash his clothes in red wine. You remember what I said? Yeah. He will trash the crush the grapes in the wine press. The wine, we are the grapes, the branches, and he's the vine. And he will crush the grapes in this wine press. Jesus Christ. Speaking, when did he crush the wines? On the cross. On the cross. So the blood of the nations and the people became on him. His garments became red. Alright, but donkey, you are cups of a lion. His eyes are darker and more sparkling than wine. This is um, imagery. This is a figure of speech of Jesus the Christ. In the latter days, you will become cups of this lion. And you must understand the animal thing. In one of my other sermons, you must go and see my, my explanation of Silo and, and this darker and wine eyes and teeth whiter than milk. I'm not going to go into that. Sebelon, you shall live toward the seashore. You shall be a haven and a landing place for ships. And his brother shall be toward Sidon. Order. Alright. A warden. A warden. A warden. A warden. Is God is a strong bone donkey crouching down between the sheepfolds. Remember the sheepfold? What I've said the previous sermon? The sheepfold? Alright? I want you to understand that when I read this, it's not about real donkeys and real lions and real... It's something about Jesus Christ as King and you as the, the, the children of this King. The cups of this King. Alright? Yeah, yeah. Isikar, you are a strong bone donkey crouching down between the sheepfolds. Go and see the message of the sheepfold. The sheepfold is the place where sheep is gathering together. And the father is the farmer. And we are the sheep in this fold. And he saw the rest was good and that the land was pleasant. And he bowed his shoulders to, to bear his burdens and became a servant to the tribute. Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Dan shall be a serpent. By the way, a horned snake in the path that bites at the horse's heels so that his rider fall backwards. A snake. Alright, it sounds strange. Why would God say to Jacob, he must prophesy over his son, he will be a snake. You see, we are, sometimes we are not positive, and we read the Word of God sometimes in our minds as negative and sinful and bad. But actually, God made everything. And a snake has a part in the whole thing. The snake will pick, it will bite. Alright, one of his sons will be a serpent, a old snake. That is judgment. It is to keep you right on your path. 
That's why there's snakes to bite you. Because if you are out of your path, you are not on the right path, you are not righteous, you are unrighteous, then snakes bite you. This is a good thing. Alright. Verse 18, I wait for your salvation, O Lord. Get a rising troop shot right in. But he shall ride at their heels and insult them. As your food shall be rich and fat. Rich and fat, they shall heal and deliver, deliver royal delights. Sweets. His prophets sigh over his sons in the latter days. Mm -hmm. Naphtali is a hind. A hind is a type of bog. A bug. A hind. It is a deer in the melt, mountains. Let loose which yields lovely forms. Joseph is fruitful. Uh, it's a fruitful bow. It's a fruitful bow. A tree a, with a branch. Fruitful bow by a well. Springing up by a fountain. Whose branches run over the wall. Skilled answers are bitterly attacked and sorely worried him. They have shot and him and persecuted him. But his bow remains strong. Let, all right, let's go on. Um, 26. The blessing of your father are greater than blessings of my forefathers and are lasting as boundaries internal yields. They shall be on the head of Joseph. All right, it was Jesus. Benjamin is the last son. He's a ravenous wolf. Ravenous wolf. In the morning devour the prey and at night dividing the spoils. Spoils. He's a ravenous wolf. All these are the twelve tribes of Israel. And this is what the Father said to them as he blessed them. So a blessing is a blessing. It's a good thing. Amen. And Jacob said to him, Come here, Israel, twelve sons, I'm going to bless you. You will be this in the last days. Alright. You understand? Yeah. You will be like animals. I want you to see that. Yeah, yeah. And that is a blessing. Maybe it's sounding strange to us, but they know exactly what that means. Sometimes we do not know what it means. One important fact what we must know is when a prophet prophesied or spoke, he took words that was known to him. Maybe it's not known to us, but it's known to him. And we must understand what he is saying. Alright. Okay, this is Genesis 49 verse that which I talked to you about. You know this now. Yeah, yeah. You understand that? Yeah, yeah. Are you happy? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you are happy. Let's go to Isaiah 11 verse 1. You remember that Israel, the, 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 the ark was in the tabernacle which Moses built. And Israel was twelve tribes, this twelve sons, with their children. They stayed in a cross form around this temple. And you know also that they have a signal or a sign, every tribe. This three had one, it was a man's face. This three had a lion. This three had an ox. And this three had an eagle. You remember yeah, that? Yeah. You yeah. see the animal thing. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Then you also know Revelation say I saw four living beasts or four living creatures yes. in heaven around the throne saying holy, holy. And go and see that message of me. It is the face of this four living creatures, the yeah, same yeah. animal. Okay. The man, the lion, the ox, and, the, and this is the ministry of Jesus Christ. You see this? Uh -huh. Go and see that message. 
all right, I want you to see things. It is God showing something about himself and showing something about you. In the latter days, I will bless Israel. In the latter days, this will be you. This will be you. This will be char characteristics of you. Because I am the one, the lion, and you are the cups of this lion. Alright. Let me go to my gallery. And therefore, verse 1, shall come forth a shoot out of a stalk. A shoot is a little tree, a little life, a little branch, out of a stalk, out of a tree trunk. Alright. A little shoot out of a stalk of Jesse. David's father. Who was David's father? Jesse. Jesse. Jesus is the son of David. Jesus is the little shoot out of the root of Jesse. Out of the stem of Jesse or David. You can see it. And the branch out of his roots shall grow and bear fruit. This little thing will bear fruit. And the victory and the reigning and the scepter will be unto Shiloh. And the obedience of the people will unto be him. You understand? I'm giving you prophetic words coming together. So, this bronze is Jesus out of the root of David. And Jesse shall grow bear fruit. Who is the fruit? Us. The people will be the obedience of this Shiloh. This one with the scepter. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. I want you to focus here and see. The Spirit of the Lord shall be on this little branch. Jesus the Christ. Out of the root of Jesse. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The Spirit of Wisdom. The Spirit of Understanding. The Spirit of Counsel. The Spirit of Might. The Spirit of Knowledge. And the Spirit of the Reverend and Obedience and the Fear of the Lord. Seven spirits will be upon this little branch. But this little branch will bear fruit. It, it will, this lion will have cups. The fruit is the people that is obedient unto him. It will be the cups of the lion. You understand? Yeah, yeah. All right. Amen. And shall make him I want you to focus now here. I'm speaking of one. Of who am I speaking now? Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Alright. The branch. The branch. Yeah. And I'm going further now. This is a revelation. When I saw the image of the lion and the lamb, I saw, oh, I got the revelation instantly. I know instantly, oh Lord, thank you. Because in this December, I've said something to someone, speaking of the wolf and the lamb and the lion and lamb. And I said something, as I said it, I know this is not 100% true. But I do not know what it is. I did not know what it is. But when I saw this image of the lion and the lamb in this thing, Instantly I had the revelation of what it meant. And this is what I'm going to give you now. Alright, the spirit of knowledge and the seven spirits. I shall make him. I shall make him. Quick 
understanding and his delight shall be in reverent, reverential. reverential and obedient fear of the Lord. Him. Listen here. Him. Jesus. Jesus. And he shall not judge by the sight of his eyes. I want to write here. Uh, judge. Not by the sight of his eyes. Alright. He will not judge um, superficially, but superficially. He will not judge naturally. He will not judge in the flesh. All right, but there is a judgment. Yeah, yeah. There is a judgment, but he will not judge by sight of his eye, neither the sight by the hearing of his ear. I'm speaking of Jesus, yeah. the little branch out of yeah, the stem yeah, of yeah. Jesse. Yeah. David, Jesse, the father of David. All right, verse 3, verse 4. That's speaking good. of Jesus, but with righteousness and justice shall he judge the poor. He will judge, but with righteousness he will judge the poor and decide with fairness for the meek the poor and the doubt throttled of the earth. And he shall smite the earth and the prey the and the oppressors with the rod of his mouth. He will smite his heat. The oppressors. I want you to see the oppressors. There is oppressors on this earth and God will smite them with his <coughs> Breath of his lips, he shall slay the wicked. And the righteousness shall be the girdle of his waist, and the faithfulness the girdle of his loins. And righteousness shall be the girdle of his waist. Righteousness will be around his waist. And faithfulness will be the girdle of his loins. So he will judge and righteousness and faithfulness. Judgment, not superficially, but with righteousness and faithfulness. I'm speaking of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Let's go on. Yeah, yeah. And the wolf shall dwell with the lamb. Speaking of Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. I'm opening you stuff now. Yeah. And the wolf shall dwell with the lamb. Mm. Isra. One of Israel's sons will be a wolf. Oh, and the wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the lung, young lion and the fatted domestic animal together, and the little child shall lead them. I always wonder what was this meaning. When I saw the lion and the lamb, instantly I know it was Jesus the Christ. Yeah. It is the image of Jesus the Christ. Yeah. And instantly Jesus said to me this scripture. Mm. And I'm going to read it as well. And the wolf shall dwell with the lamb. This is image of Jesus Christ. He is the wolf. shall dwell with the lamb. He is the yeah. lamb. Yeah. But they will dwell. I'm going to give you when will they dwell. <laughs> Alright. Just keep this in mind. Sure. 
and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The lion or the leopard is the ruler one, the strong one, the, the devourer one. He will lie down with the kid and the calf and the young lion and the fatted domestic animal together and a little child shall lead them. Let's go. The leopard shall lie down with the kid. A leopard is a dangerous animal, but he will lie down with a kid, a small, innocent child, a person. A dangerous thing will be in peace with a small, harmless child. A child is a human, a man. All right, I'm going to give you the thing. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. And the calf and the young lion, the calf. The calf. Listen here. This is prophetic words of a prophet saying stuff, what he sees. He did, did not know exactly what it means, maybe. But you need the Spirit of the Lord to say to you, a calf is another word for a lamb. The calf and the young lion and the fatted domestic animal together. A fatted domestic animal is something that is prepared to be fattened. is something to be food to be fed for the right thing this fattened animal and the lion and the lamb will come together they will be in peace they will be made one I'm speaking of the branch. And you said, yes, we can see that the branch is Jesus the Christ. Yeah, yeah. And now he's saying, a wolf and a lamb will be together. A lion and a calf will be together. Verse 7, and the cow and the bear shall feed side by side. It is the same person just from another point of view using other animals but it's the same thing a cow and the bear shall feed side by side their young shall lie down together and the lion shall eat straw like an ox a lion will eat straw like an ox now I don't know if you know but if you eat straw it's not lacquer it straws not um, by our nutrition. What? Nutrition. Nutritional. So you're going to eat straw man. The lion, he's the king. He's the ruler. He eats meat. Now he must be submitted. He must Be humble and eat straw. That is what it means. You are humbled when you eat straw. Yes. You are humbled when you eat straw. Now the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The ox. Alright. An ox. Now in Hebrew, um, 
you shall find, and in Greek, um, some scholars will say, when the, the faces of the man, the eagle, and this side is? An uh, ox, and that side is? A lion, a man, an eagle, and an ox. Alright. Now an ox is a bull or in their way a sheep or a cow. Yeah. The same thing. That's why some prophets will say I see an ox and some will say I see a lamb. It's the same thing in their point of view. It's the same they represent the ox and the lamb represent the same thing. Alright. The cow and the bear shall feed side by side. A bear is a dangerous animal. A bear. Amen. Their young shall lie down together and the lion shall eat straw like an ox. A lion will be submit, shall be humbled to eat straw like an ox. Why an ox? Because an ox or a lamb is a image of the offering of Jesus Christ. Jesus as lamb or ox. It is his humility part. Do you understand me? And I am another cloud and you do not understand. You can see what I'm saying. And the suck, sucking child is a small child that is sucking. Shall play over the hole of the asp. An asp is a snake. Speaking of Jesus, because he is the branch out of the root of Jesse, he will play over the hole. The dwelling place of a snake. Jesus said to you, Vipers, you speak of God, but you do not know me. You are a bunch of vipers. Jesus. The child shall play over the hole of the ass. It's a den of snakes. He will be in the midst of religious and bad things. He will play in the midst over the hole. He will come in the right time and come to earth. And religion and the people that does not belong to God will be like snakes. He will play with them of the whole of this asp. Can you hear? Mm -hmm. I think some people will say, what a bunch of nonsense. I don't care if you believe me or not. I'm opening Jesus Christ to you and this is the truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the Wean child shall put his hand on the adder's den. The adder is also a snake. The, the weaned, what is this word? Wean child will put his hand on the adder's den. Adder, a den, is also a home and a place where snakes is. God will put his hand as a child on this earth. God will become flesh. He will become human. He will become a child. And this child will put his hand in an adder's den, a snake place. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. 
Why will you think, will you say this now? The knowledge of the Lord, they shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain. This things, what I've spoken here, the lion and the ox and the bear and the lamb, and the star, they are in the holy mountain. Who is the mountain of the Lord? Revelation said, come up, let me show you the bright. And John, come up and he show me a mountain. The wife, a city, the Zion. They shall not destroy in all my holy mountain. Because this lion and ox will be in the mountain. They will be Israel. You will be a, 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 a snake and you will be a wolf and you will be an ox and you will be a deer and you will be a cup of a lion. This will be in the latter days. You Israel, you church, I'm saying I prophesy over you. Now this, you will be the mountain, the holy place. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord. Because what I've spoken uh, so far is about the knowledge of the Lord. Yeah. And the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord. The Word became flesh. Who is the Word? Jesus Christ is the Word. This is the written Word. And this explains Jesus Christ, the living word. And he will become flesh and dwell amongst us. And the knowledge of the Lord shall be all over as the waters cover the sea. The same place where I've spoken about the branch and the lion and the lamb and the sheep and the bear coming together as one. So maybe you don't understand until now. But let's finish with Revelation 5. Listen, God is not speaking to your mind. God all men that is born has a body with a soul and has a mind. But God speaks to spirit. You need to be born again by spirit. And then He's speaking to your spirit. He's never giving you knowledge to your mind. The knowledge for your mind will not make sense. If people listen to this sermon with a mind, they will not understand this messenger. You must listen with your spirit because God is speaking to the spirit. And if you can see what I'm explaining to you, you can have that. Amen. Amen. All right. Now we are in Revelation and it's all about John. John, here's the door. Come through the door. All right. And then I saw someone on a throne. That is Jesus Christ. And there's something in his hand. Eh? A, scroll. a scroll or a book. Alright, in his hand. Now John saw this. And then someone needed to take this scroll from the Father's hand. And there was nobody found in heaven on or on, or on earth that can took this scroll. All right. Now John is wet. He is weeping. And I wept audibly and bitterly because no one was found to fit to open the scroll or to inspect it, to look upon it. Then one of the elders of the heavenly Sanhedrin said to me, Stop weeping. See the lion of the tribe of Judah the lion it is a lion 
of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. Oh, I wrote. Yeah, yeah. I've said, yeah. yeah. There is a root coming, a branch. a branch out of the root of David, yeah. with seven spirits. You remember that, yeah. and it's Jesus Christ. Listen, yeah. He says, "Do not weep. The lion shall see the lion of the tribe of Judah." The root of David has won and has ever come to conquer. He can open a scroll and break the seven seals. The scroll has seven seals closed. Alright. And there between the throne and the four living creatures with the four faces of the eagle, the ox or the lamb, the lion and the man. Yeah, yeah. Alright. And among the elders of the heavenly Sanhedrin, I saw a lamb standing. Let me tell you, there is the lion of the tribe. Where? There, man. Is he a lion? Yes, he's a lion. But he looks like a lamb. Yes, he is also a lamb. Alright. You see, Jesus is the lion and he's the lamb. And there between the throne, the lion, the scepter, the cup, the lion, you will be a cup of a lion and the scepter will not depart. It will be yours until the one coming the Shiloh one coming from Shiloh he will come and he the scepter will be given unto him and the people will be the obedient one unto him the fruit of this scepter and there between the throne the scepter and the four living creatures and among the elders of the heavenly Senate, I saw a lamb standing, and though he had been slain. A lamb, and he looks like if he had been slain. That Jesus is the lamb of God, giving his life on the cross. With seven horns, I saw a lamb with seven horns, seven and with seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God. Amen. I see seven. seven spirits of lordship, of knowledge, of wisdom. Here, it says now, the spirits, the horns and the eyes are the seven spirits who have been sent into all the earth. And then when he took the scroll from the right hand of him who sat on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders prostrate themselves before the Lamb with the seven eyes and the seven horns. That seven eyes and seven horns is just the image of the seven spirits. In an image form. Each was holding an harp, a, a, a harp or a guitar in his hand. And they had golden bells full of incense which are the prayers of God's people, the saints. Alright, let me explain to you. Let me explain. So, here, yeah, Genesis. Jacob said, come here, Ezra. Come here, church. Come here, people of God. I'm going to prophesy over you. You will be like animals. It will be a blessing. 
it is for the latter day, not now. It is a blessing. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, is characteristics in you what you will do to understand. This will be given unto you and to the Shiloh one, the one that will rule and come. The root, the one that is the Lamb of God and the Lion. So John, see a throne and he cried and he, he, he bitterly cried and he said, who can take the scroll? And then God showed him and the angel said to him, the lamb that was slain and took the scroll. So when do you think the lamb took the scroll? and open it when it was slain because that was the opening up the opening up of this scroll the lion and the lamb meet the lion is Christ and the lamb is Christ when did the lion and the lamb meet when he took up the scroll. When he took up the scroll and opened it, the lion, Jesus Christ as king and as an ox or a lamb as offering meat. So the lion and the lamb will lie together. Or the wolf and the sheep will lie together. All the bear and the cow will lie together. It is the same thing. There's only different images of Jesus Christ as King giving up his life as an offering in a lamb, opening it up. Himself up. But Let's sure. listen. Last Isaiah sixty-five. Isaiah sixty-five speaks of Jerusalem or Israel now. All right. And I'm only giving you this two scriptures. Yes. The people as Israel or in Jerusalem. They shall not labor in vain or bring forth children for sudden terror or calamity for they shall be descendants of the blessed of the Lord. Verse 23 Are you descendant of the blessed of the Lord? Yes. Are you a cup of the lion? Yes. Actually, I could also say the cup of the lamb, or the cup of the wolves, or the cup of the ox, or the cup of the snake. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's cups. They shall not labor in vain. We shall not labor in vain. Or bring forth for sudden terror or calamity. For they shall be descendants of the blessed of the Lord and their offspring with them. And it shall be that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Before you call, I will answer. Amen. Amen. And before you yet speaking, I will hear. Because this is now the people and the children in Jerusalem. Go and read the previous verses listen here the wolf and the lamb shall feed together the wolf and the lamb shall feed together I'm speaking now about Israel and the people living in the new Jerusalem 
the place what God is making, the holy place, the mountain of the Lord. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together and the lion shall eat straw like an ox. And the dust shall be the serpent's food. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mount. Zion, says the Lord. It is impossible. Listen here. It is impossible to opening God and not opening you. It's impossible. It's impossible to open you and you're not opening God. It's impossible to open in the web and not opening God. And prophetic word is something opening God so that we can see Him clearly and if we can see Him clearly we can see us clearly. If we can see Him clearly we can enter it. If we can see Him clearly as finished we can have it. Amen. Ephesians 2 verse 5 15 15. By abolishing his by abolishing in his own crucified flesh the enemy enmity caused by the law which its decrees and ordinance which he and know which he and know that he from the two might create in himself one new man Amen. one new quality of humanity out of the two so making peace and he designed to reconcile to God both Jew and Gentile unite in a single body by means of his cross thereby killing the mutual enmity and bringing the few to an end. Amen. <laughs> this is a New Testament scripture amen, amen. just saying everything that I've said here. He said, I am one, I'm God, I'm one. You do not belong to me. You are far off. You are a Jew, but let's prophesy over them and make them become one. I will tell them they will be animals. I will bless them because every animal has a part. They will be the children and the people of God. I am also a lion and you will be that. I'm also a wolf. I am also a sheep and an ox. Yes, you have this images, but I am also that images. I will make the enmity, the two things, one. I will make the lion and the sheep come dwell one. I will make the wolf and the lamb be one. I will make whatever. I, I will reconcile God that is king and lion with the lamb as the image of humanity and the offering. I will make the two things one. That's why the wolf will sleep with the lamb. The lion will lie with the lamb. And whatever image you think, the bear will be in peace. Yeah. 
It is prophet speaking of words. Why do I say this this morning to you? Because the church think that this must still come. This is what I've read here. The lion and lamb, they gave it to heaven. So someday, the lion and the lamb is two real natural lion and a lamb, and wolves and sheep and ox and stuff will be there in peace in heaven. But that's not the message. The message is, I am God. I am now one with you as man. I am the king, the lion, and you are the ox. I will make peace and one between me and you. And you will be the cups of the lion. I hope I am, I hope I explain myself good. And this child will play with the snakes. God has made everything underneath our feet. He take the law, He take every principality, every demon, every power that was against God and man. He took it on the cross when He was the Lamb. He took the scroll. Heaven and earth kissed. Heaven and earth reconciled. The Lamb and the King. The tribe, the lion of the tribe of Judah, kiss the lamb, becoming one. And this image is, it's God, opening God for us and us in that. Now what does it mean? Because, listen yeah, I said, if you open God, you open us. But he speaks of a fruit that will bear fruit and that's us. And this root will have judgment, but rightful judgment, righteousness and faithfulness. You as a cup of the lion must have judgment, righteousness and faithfulness. If you are not faithful, you are not the cup of the lion. Because all the cups of the lion, of the king for rulership, must have his characteristics, his personality. I know this afternoon I will think on stuff to explain this better what I'm explaining now. But this will be too late then. Now I will rest my case. We will come on Thursday. Hallelujah.